Yo, what's going on, miners? Today, we're going to be checking out MMPOS. So, let's get right into it. As a crypto miner, you know you want your equipment to be high quality. Proper cable management is part of your mining rig, and the Veteran Miner has you covered. The Veteran Miner cables are created with the best materials to ensure they are of the highest quality. Our cables are made of 16 gauge tin copper, ensuring another layer of protection from oxidation and corrosion. We support our products with a 100% guarantee. Visit our website at www.theveteranminer.com and get the best cables for your mining setup. All right, miners. So we're going to be checking out some mining operating actual, you know, systems that there's several of them out there. There's MMPOS, there's Rave OS, uh, there's Simple Mining. There's quite a few of these and we're going to, and I'm going to, test drive these for 30 days for each one on just like one card and just see how it goes right um there's several options out there i'll even do nice ash if people i mean it's pretty self-explanatory but i'll still test drive nice ash now we're starting with mmpos because i have an intel arc gpu and um you know after watching so and uh man electrons videos that they've recently re uh, recently released about the support of intel on mmpos it has kind of piqued my interest here and i'm seeing people more my more um youtubers you know make those intel arc mining rigs right because the intel cards are quite affordable right they're really really cheap so let's go ahead and let's head over to mmpos all right, guys, so we're over here at the main dashboard for MMPOS. This is just my test rig that I'm, I put up here. And as you can see right now, I am currently mining um, uh, Ironfish with the Intel Arc A750. So I have the Intel Arc A750 Founders Edition. Um, I, if you guys want, I could do an install guide. But I will leave a, a link down in the, uh, in the description down below for Soat's video. He did a very good how-to guide to install the uh, MMPOS. It's actually really, really easy. I mean, I could, I could just even talk about it. You said if you've installed Hive, you could do this no problem, right? You need to um, download their, um, you need to download their uh, money operating system, which you would do this with the get MMPOS. You would download it. Now, I prefer to use Rufus over uh, Belena Etcher because even Belena Etcher right now has been giving me problems with Hive installations, so I would recommend using Rufus. Um, after you download MMPOS and burn it to your hard drive, then you would come over here and do this auto config and generate the download and put that into the SSD that you burn the file on, right? Now, if you also want to do a net config, you could also do this too. I didn't need to do that because I'm running Ethernet. But if you have the option of doing Wi-Fi, you could add your uh, SSID and your Wi-Fi password here and be able to log into your Wi-Fi. So that's kind of neat. Uh, miners that work with uh, Intel Arc GPUs, I'm um, using SRB Miner because um, I think that's probably the most supported one. I don't know if there even is another miner that supports Intel. Um, so I decided to give this a try now. I know with Intel, the overclocking is pretty limited. So right now I am just uh, core, uh, I'm just not core, I'm power limiting this particular card. Um, I'm just keeping it around 100 watts and I'm getting about eight giga hash on, um, on Ironfish. I could probably drop the wattage down a little bit more, but I, I'm just trying to, I'm still playing around with it. I'm trying to see, you know, what's, you know, you know what's the best hash rate for this right now so let's go over a few things with mmpos now you do have to pay i did set up this free account that gives me 180 credits which is 255 days left um now if you come over here to their pricing this is this is how their pricing works right so it's 180 credits and able to uh, enough to use six GPUs for thirty days. So, um, if you want, if you need to buy the credits, um, it's about a dollar fifty for thirty days. 
So, I mean, I'm, it's it's early. I need to figure this out. So, uh, 1.5 divided by 30. I think it's what, like a nickel? Yeah, it's a nickel. Costs you about five cents a day to run a rig of six. So, um, <clears throat> so that's that's not that's not too bad. That's pretty affordable. Now, up to fourteen credits per day for free forever. Uh, we include eight free credits per day by default. After your first purchase, we grant you fourteen credits per day for free. If you have more than fifteen hundred GPUs, please contact us. <laughs> well, that's a lot. <laughs> fifteen hundred GPUs. Boy. That is so much. Um, loyalty rewards and referring friends. Keep mining with us and earn loyalty levels, which grants you up to 25% bonus credits for every purchase. Or refer your friends and get 10% um, percent of their purchase while giving them a 10% bonus. So it's kind of cool if you refer people. You know, you get some, they get some. And if you stay with these guys, they um, they give you like 25% bonus credits. They do have an FAQ, which has a lot of good information. Um, how to get started. This is like how to download and flash your file. Some of the first steps you should do when you first boot. Um, and then obviously there's some commands that uh, you guys could run for like your AMD and Intel kernels and things like that. Now, this is a little bit different than Hive. Where like if you have like the latest image of the MMPOS like it would just pick up these these intel gpus well that's that's sort of not the case right now this is ran from the eu so their api is kind of slow at least for me it's like 500 milliseconds um and i'm in arizona so if you're probably on the east coast it's probably more like around like two to three hundred milliseconds um so you run a lot of things from the remote console here, which this usually takes quite a bit of time. It seems like a good clean operating system. It's easy to read. Um, the colors are nice and easy on your eyes. When you first get started with MMPOS, you'll need to come over here and create a minor profile. So you have to come over here and you'll need to like, you can name it whatever you want. You can call it like Intel ergo or something like that right and then you come over here down to your coin and yeah, there we go now this is where it gets it's not of it's not as intuitive as as hive os where you have like drop down menus for like big name pools like hero miners and you know f2 pool and uh, you know and uh, two miners and stuff like that here you kind of have to do a little bit of legwork where you need to come over here and add the name we'll just call it two miners right and then the coin is ergo and this is where you have to add the host name so we'll need to go over to two miners and now we're gonna have i think they have an ergo pool right yeah they do yeah one so you're gonna click the quick start and now see what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to come over here and copy this come back to your MMPOS, add the host name, and then you're gonna only put the port down here, and then you're gonna delete the port from here. Okay, so that's that's essentially what you're gonna have to do. Now you're also gonna have to add your wallet in this section as well, and we'll just, you know, this is my, we'll just call it my Zellcore Ergo, right? Go over here, paste it in, create the wallet, now, after you create the wallet and you have all this information put in, now you can create the pool. And now then you'd come over here to your miners. So um, we would want SRB, uh, the SRB miner, because it's, it's one of the miners I know that supports Intel. So now they do have some advanced options like API port, and this is where you could set the secondary coin for dual mining. So I'll need to figure this out, how to dual mine um, particular coins. And I don't know if the Intel supports that or not. That's something I'm going to be actively working on. But then you can click create the profile. And now you can see that we have two profiles in here. So you come back to your rig. And you can see I have my Intel one right here. 
there's just yeah, there's not a lot of tuning for the Intel, which is unfortunate, man. <laughs> so unfortunate. But up here, you would come up here and click switch mining profile, and then you could switch between your profiles. And then you have your disable miner, which is like your stop miner, restart miner, and um, you know there's some general settings too. You can enable a watchdog. Uh, auto disable mining of GPUs change, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. So when it sees a change inside of your rig configuration, it'll automatically be disabled until you click this button and it'll be a play button to enable again. So that's kind of a good feature, right? So it doesn't just start mining, you know, right away, you know, maybe you added some new GPUs and you need to tune them or something like that. Right. So I thought, I think that's kind of nice. Um, other than that, though, it's it's different, right? We all get used to running um, a certain software all the time. Um, we get we get used to running like Hive OS and stuff like that. So, um, no, I mean this is pretty good. I don't I don't mind this. I wish people had more. I wish with Intel there was more support to be able to control the mining, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's kind of how you add pools, how you add wallets, your miner profiles, um, you know, stuff like that. So you can also come over here to the uh, the audit log and then you could see some things, you know, like, you know, restarts and, you know, overclock set, stuff like this, you know what I mean? Maybe you're managing a farm with other people and you could see, you know, who did what, you know, stuff like that. It looks like they have a affiliate program as well. I know HiveOS has a an affiliate program, so that's pretty nice. Well, guys, I mean, this is pretty much it. I'm gonna, I'll probably do a video. I'll try to do one maybe like once a week or so like that, give it an update. I'll try and mine some other coins and you know other things like that to be able to uh, update you guys on how it's going on M MMPOS. Um, I, I will, um, let me get back into my rig here. I will, uh, mine other coins. I just started with some of the newer coins like iron fish. I'll, I'll probably do radiant. I'll mine radiant on my pool, stuff like that. You know, every once a week I will switch off to a different coin. Um, but if you guys are interested in, uh, mining, uh, with Intel GPUs with MMPOS, um, this is this is the SRB uh, GitHub, and this is uh, they have an active list of coins that are supported, and you can see this right here. I is for Intel. They have they have uh, Ergo, uh, Alethium, Ironfish. Um, they have Dynex, uh, ETC, ETHash, Heavyhash, Caspa, MemeHash, and they also have uh, Radiant. Um, I believe this is Novo, which is the SHA-256 DT. Um, they also have uh, Ubic Hash and Varus Hash. So they they have they don't have support for all the coins, but they do they do have some for some of I'm going to say the current heavy hitters. Um, so which is pretty nice to see from SRB Miner. So definitely think that's really really cool. That's today's video. I'm checking out different mining operating systems 30 days so we're going to run this till the end of july and i'm going to be going through and maybe i'm going to start um you know mining some different coins uh, maybe one of the weeks i'll i'll throw in a um maybe i'll throw in my 2080 ti halfway through i wanted to do this to kind of test the intel arc a750 because i did buy it and it's just just been kind of just sitting there not doing anything so I wanted to give it a try, you know, and see what I can do inside of um, MMPOS. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, leave them down below. As well as, like I said, I can do an install video, but I mean, so did such a great one. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. If you guys want to uh, go check out his install video, um, it was really thorough. It's very easy. All right, guys, this is the money can giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.